Now, Janice was just mentioning before the break, Dr. Levinson, that, that you do kind of a combination of drugs here uh, that, that your patients use. Can you tell us what the theory is and what they are? Yes. Basically, the combination of medication is similar to that used with the astronauts before they go into space. Without medications, the astronauts become dyslexic, and they start reading upside down and backwards. And so what these medications do is they enhance the functioning of the inner ear, the fine-tuner then to the brain becomes better and clearer, and so all the sensory motor and so-called cognitive functions mm -hmm. become significantly better. But now, things like what? Like, I mean, well, even when you fly in an airplane, some people use an antihistamine or whatever. Yes. What I find is that one medication alone statistically is not going to maximize results. You also can't push the doses or you get side effects. None of my patients tolerate any side effects. We start with small doses. Mm -hmm. And it's easier to, to mix several, di several different medications and nutrients together. So you have a team approach, all working to the same end without any side effects at all. So that what I found over the years is a good mix of anti-motion sickness, antihistamines, certain kinds of vitamins and nutrients can mm -hmm. work very well. When there's significant in concentration problems, sometimes simple things like Sudafed, you know, small tiny doses of stimulants like Desiderine or Ritalin, which the astronauts are on, make a tremendous difference. They work what we call synergistically. Yeah. They work together so one and one equals three or four instead of just two.